Yo, what's good, YouTube? I don't know if you guys have been hiding under a rock or if you've just been kind of just doing your own thing, but we got a little drama, a little drama going on around town in these 2K streets. Oh my God! In the 2K city, in the 2K beach, if that's what it's gonna be. I don't know, but we got drama around town. There's been a lot of arguments going on lately between the old heads and the, I guess you would say, newer generation of community of 2K. First off, let's get this out the way. The dribble heads that people talk about now, the old heads started that, right? You got your people like Stats, you got your people like Steezo, you got your people like uh, um, Red City Boy, all of them that are now older up in age, and I'm not talking like older to where it's like you in your 30s, 35, 40. <laughs> got he! <laughs> got he! But those are the people that really got the 2K community going crazy with dribbling, man. Um, even uh, uh, Pretty Boy Fredo was a part of that. Um, but a lot of people say like, old heads don't dribble like that or old heads don't want that. What you gotta understand is old heads started that, right? So let's just get out of the way, right? But what's been happening now is that you have somebody by the name of Chris Move. And you guys all know Chris Move is a GOAT of 2K community. He basically got the 2K community popping, if you wanna be honest. I wanna say he started, it might've been other people doing it before, but he's the one that made it relevant. He made 2K videos as a gaming thing on YouTube become relevant. He did it through my career, it wasn't through Park, it wasn't through uh, Pro-Am, it wasn't through any of that. His was strictly my career, um, maybe a little bit of crew mode every now and then back in the day, because it used to be called crew mode, but it was strictly my career, and he made that become popular by playing. And then it brought up a whole different source of people who started playing my career on 2K and made that become popular. I was one of them that tried it. I don't really understand the YouTube thing and how to get it going the way and how to edit and do all that type of stuff, but he did. You know, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Chris Move is waiting on a new. Chris Move is waiting on a new. You know what I'm saying? Where is you going? Get that guy a map. Uh, the ankle breakers, all that type of stuff. The audience, the crowd music. <laughs> He had it all, bro. He had it all. With that being said, it does not mean that just because he helped originate all of that and helped become or help 2K become what it is today, that you can't be wrong. There's a clip of Chris Move coming out that came out on Twitter, and it was him talking about how dribble heads are going to ruin the game and that we don't want that and that it's not real basketball and that it's not what makes the game or should be in the game at all in the clip it's got him sh dribbling and doing all types of stuff i'll let you guys see it so go ahead and watch it it's right here the majority of people that are really complaining about the dribbling are the guys that dribble for the whole shot clock and then after 20 seconds and a 5 million combo dribble they do a spin move they break the spin move halfway they step back about 10 feet shoot a three green it and then they get all excited those are the people that seem to be complaining the most about the dribbling and it's funny because even these dribblers, they know they're not playing basketball. If they ever make a video with a tutorial, they'll name the tutorial something like how to spam the curry slide, how to spam momentum, how to spam the spin, how to spam this. Even they know they're spamming. All these years, they know that they're spamming. They're not actually playing basketball, but here they are complaining about the dribbling and that it's not good. And it's funny because if you go back to the and one street days, with hot sauce. You remember that? You remember those dribblers? Even they didn't dribble the way that people are dribbling in NBA 2K. Even they didn't do a spin move. Sentence, but you're like stock dropped on beat. Sold it as high as peak the Black Panther. Follow for the you remember those dribblers? Even they didn't dribble the way that people are dribbling in NBA 2K. Even they didn't do a spin move. All right, so now that you've seen the clip and you've seen that how Chris Move was talking, you can see in it that Chris Move is not really a dribble head, all right? He's not a dribble head, he's a my career head. And there's nothing wrong with that because that's where he made his statement. That is where he made his mark in the 2K community. And that's perfectly fine. You can have 2K basketball IQ and be okay at the game because IQ takes you above 70% of the people that play this game. However, there is that 30% of people who have IQ and have dribbling and have reads that just take you to the next level. If you want to be better than 70% of the people, cool. But you cannot, I repeat, you cannot tell the people that are better 
who really know how to dribble, who really know how to get the things going, aka me. I know how to get it bopping. I'm not the best dribbler in the world, but I would put myself in the top 30% because I know how to get a bucket when I need to get a bucket. Am I going crazy like spam one of one? No. Am I going crazy like eyeball greens? No. Could I get to that point? Yes. But am I going there? No, I ain't there yet. But I know better than to say this needs to stop because if you can't even really do it, what it becomes is if you can't do it, it's just you complaining because you can't do it. Because if you can do it, then you understand just how much more fun the game is when you can do it. I don't care if people call it a cheese. I don't care if people call it an exploit because you got Kyrie dribbling for 24 seconds and he'll still find a way to get a bucket. I promise you if 2K put in the game 30 different moves that all worked, Dribble Heads is gonna find a way to implement every one of those moves in some situation to make it work. The problem is, is that we only have so many different moves that are available. I would say maybe four or five in general that get the job done that you run and you do over and over again because those are the ones that consistently work. Add in a whole plethora of them and you would see a whole different thing and it will make the game feel like it was more real. Like back in the day of 2K16 and 2K17, even though you had dribble heads, everybody had different styles in the way they dribbled. This is why you had Pretty Boy Fredo that was exciting to watch. This is why you had Red City Boy that was exciting to watch. Tank the Tank, another one. Generally, yeah, some people use the same moves, but most of, most of the time you have people using different stuff, finding out different things and making it work for them because you have the availability and access to those moves. That's not the case anymore. In general, you have everybody using Steve Francis size up. You got everybody using the Michael Jordan uh, dribble style. You got everybody using the Trey Young or the uh, John Wall. You got everybody either using normal one for moving step back or I think it's the Luka Doncic one because the moving step back and normal one, I believe gives you Asta Slide. The Asta Slide is a free crab. Everybody is just learning the same thing. There is no differentiation between the thing anymore. So for Chris Smooth, you cannot tell people this is not what we want. If you want the issue to change, you want people to start playing the game and do different things, then 2K needs to add more stuff. I watch Chris move all of his Modern Warfare videos. I watch all of his freaking 2K videos. I watch all of his, uh, what other, what other stuff did he watch, bro? Yeah, he was crazy on Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare, Call of Duty, Black Ops. All of, I watched all of them, bro. I watched them religiously, religiously, religiously. I watched them non-stop. But in this situation, you gotta bow out because if I'm watching you dribble, bro, y'all saw in the clip, Bro, you are not dribbling. The way that you're dribbling is you're doing this. Behind the back. All right, he went behind the back. You wanna cross to the right? I'm going cross to the right. You wanna cross to the left? You're crossing to the left. That's what you're doing. The problem that, that's, that's annoying with people that talk about dribbling in general, bro, is that y'all can't do it. If y'all could do it, then you would understand it and you would be like, no, it doesn't need to be nerfed. It's a skill that it takes to doing it. If you can't guard a left, right three times in a row, I don't know what to tell you. If you can't guard it one-on-one -on -one and you just getting fried, that's on you, bro. That's why adrenaline is there. They helping you so that you can get back. Screens is different, all right? But if this, if some dude is frying you because he doing misdirections, then he going in and he doing a basic spin and he coming back. Yeah, that move is not real, but he's doing that. That takes skill to do. Can you do it? If you can't do it, shut up. If you can't do it, shut up, all right? As simple as that. If he is doing a basic spin, then he's going to the Luka Doncic uh, uh, step back, and he fried you on the three. Fine, so be it. That's a skill issue. You getting fried on it. He killing you on that. Nobody wants a real basketball game. That's what you need to understand. Nobody wants a real simulation basketball game. I promise you nobody wants that. Why? Because nobody wants to sit there, pass the ball to the center, watch the center back down 50 freaking times, do a drop step and then get a bucket and maybe even miss it knowing how 2K is. Nobody wants to watch a point guard do one dribble and be gassed. We already can't even pass the ball because of how things are. People are guarding two people with one, one, six, nine, dude. You pass the ball, he's getting the steal because he's in the sweet spot. You pass the ball to the hash, he's getting the steal because he's in the sweet spot. It doesn't matter. Let it go. All right, let it go. There are plenty of videos. Matter of fact, I'm gonna post them. I will show, I will put the controller on the screen and I will show you how to do it. A lot of you will come home from work and I, hey, listen, I got, I work, I get it. A lot of you will come home from work and you just wanna play the game, right? Take 30 minutes a day to just practice a move in the pro-am court. I promise you, once you get the move down, the game will become 10 times more fun. I got no disrespect for Chris Move. I got no, no ill will towards Chris Move, but the real thing is that if you don't understand the game, 
and how to play it the way that it's played now because times have just changed. You do not deserve to be having conversations with dribble heads about what's considered broken and what's not. All right, Chris Move, you still a goat. I got no disrespect towards you, man. But, yo, know, listen, things have got to be said when things got to be said, all right? Leave that issue alone. 2K, give us more dribbles so that we can add more things and add more things to our bag so that we can go crazy and make the game feel more like they actually doing something, all right? Let's go that route. I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.